welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing a Shein haul try on type thing. Um, so I've actually just washed my hair and I'm letting it dry naturally. So um, it is a little wet at the moment. Um, that is why it looks the way it does. Just a little disclaimer. Um, so basically, um, if you're new here, hey, I'm Ellen. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the video throughout and smash a like on the video if you are enjoying it. Today we are trying on some plus size bikinis from Shein. So if you don't want to see me in a bikini, don't want to hear me talking about boobs and just uh, hate people that are plus size, then click off this video now and I will be trying these on for you guys. Um, so I picked up two bikinis from the plus size range at Shein. If you don't know what Shein is, I think they're like one of the uh, Chinese kind of bulk sale websites and they um, sell uh, very cheap clothing um, and they, I've heard amazing things about their swimwear um, and obviously we are not really travelling at the moment but fingers crossed that will be different very soon and we'll be able to travel again. If not, I'm sure I can use these somewhere in England when the weather's not like this and we be, maybe we get another heat wave. Uh, two bikinis and then this little top I'm wearing. Um, and I thought I'd just show you how they fit, um, give you my review of them. Um, they None of them have like the prices on the receipt or anything, so um, I'm just going to leave the prices uh, down below while I'm talking about them because I don't remember, but I think they were both about £15. I think my whole order came to about £32, including delivery. Very cheap, basically. Um, and it actually was really, really quick to come, so... Um, it probably took about a week and a half to get to me, which I actually thought was going to be way longer because I remember when I used to order off sites like these back in the day, it used to take months for the stuff to arrive, but this was very quick um, and I have actually already tried them on, so um, they might be a little folded a bit weird in the bags and stuff, so sorry about that in advance, but you'll get the idea. Uh, let's get into this, shall we? Because I've talked for three minutes! <laughs> So my first thing I picked up was this little top with a butterfly motif on. I am loving these kind of tops at the moment. I think, I reckon this was like under, I think it was about five pounds. It was very cheap, but it feels it. It feels like a really cheap little top. Um, but I thought this would be cute for holidaying, just for kind of lounging around in. And yeah, it fits really nicely. I got everything in a 1X. So yeah, this is this top. I, I think it's really cute. Um, like fits a bit weird here, but I mean, it's not. Like, not in a I hate it way, it's actually, I think it's quite a sweet little top. Um, yeah, I got everything in a, a yeah, a, uh, XL. Um, so that is obviously the right size for me because you'll see coming up it all fits quite well. So the first bikini I picked up was um, this one. They all come in these like cute little like she in bikini bags. Um, and I might actually keep these to keep them in as well because. That's like a real waste if I just throw these away and they're like quite good for um, just keeping your bikinis in and they ziplock, not ziplock, they uh, like, uh, that, what's the one that like clips together like that? ASMR. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they come in these little bags basically, that's all you need to know and I got, yeah, I got it in a, just an XL from, um, uh, what I was going to say is these are all from the plus size uh, section of the Shein website, um, so I just went straight for the plus size section. Um, what I did find about the swimwear within the plus size section, everything is high waisted, everything is high waisted. Um, and. Uh, as you'll see when we go on in this video, I like kind of don't always want my swimwear to be high-waisted. I actually think although I'm like a size kind of 16, four, probably 14 to 18 depending on the brand, um, I actually quite like my tummy and I quite like that area of my body. I don't want to like hide it away. Totally understand if you do, everyone's different, but personally I don't. I think there are a lot of other plus size girls out there who don't want to hide their stomach away. So I do think my like shout to brands would be that not every plus size swimwear needs to be high waisted. I feel like that's a super bad stereotype and I think it's okay for plus size girls to get their tummy out because we've got tummies as well and they're just as cute as everybody else's. Um, so the first one I picked up was this super cute like um, daisy print bikini. So if you watched any of my travel videos, you'll know that I wore a similar shape bikini to this most of the time, like a pink um, similar shape to this. But I, yeah, I picked up this little flowered green bikini. It's got like pads in the inside. You can kind of see that I think um, on both sides, but they, you can take those out. But I quite like keeping those in um, just for like the extra support. Um, I just think that's so so sweet. This is 
like my aesthetic to an absolute T. And then the bottoms are just as cute. They are high waisted, like I said. Um, but they've got this like absolutely gorgeous, like frilling detail on the um, top. It's just so cute. I'd love if that was like round here as well. Or would that be a too like, like a little girl's bikini? I don't know, probably pretty little girl's bikini anyway, but um, like, so so sweet um i think the print's really nice the quality feels really good like you definitely feel like you could go swimming in these i'm gonna slide over to the uh me trying them on now so you can have a look at what they look like so i actually kind of love this one. Oh, this is not you're not gonna be able to see it at all are you just crack it down a little bit Ooh. there we go yep this is so super cute i love the frills around here like and it's actually like very supportive as well um yeah i'm a fan of that i'm gonna move to the side so i can put like a full body one for my phone here but um yeah this is super cute um i do like kind of like my bottoms to be a bit smaller but um you get the idea that this is so cute and if you like do want to cover up this bit of your tummy it's like super flattering to do that because um the print and the frills so yeah and not too high waisted i don't like too high waisted but this is a winner. My second one I picked up, again, comes in this she-in packaging. It's got my hair all over it, lovely. Uh, she-in packaging. Um, and this is the second one. So it is this, it can be bandeau. Where's the front? That's the front. Um, again, got the pads on the inside and you can pull them out. Again, feels really good quality. This one's much like stretchier. It's the, um, I always call it kind of crepe material, but I don't know what the official name is. Um, it is, I've taken it off so it's bandeau style because I have tried this on already and it's got these like cute little frills at the top but it does also have space so you can insert some straps into it um, and this really does provide some more support so these are just what the straps look like and um, you'll see them in the try on um but yeah really really lovely top and i love that it comes with the option of straps as well and because you can take them out you could do something cute like cross them over at the back and it could be really sweet you can make it work really nicely um, i just prefer without straps just for the tanning situation and stuff um and this is the bottoms that came with these these are like absolutely massive not in terms of like size wise just like height there's just so much fabric so much going on with these um but again, the quality feels really nice. Uh, they feel really good for like, you could swim in them. And I think if you are like someone that's self-conscious of your belly, these do come up so high. So you can cover up basically like your whole stomach with these, um, if that is something that you prefer to do. Um, you'll see in my cutaway that I decide to swap them out for um, another bikini bottoms that I've got because this for me is way too high waisted. I kind of knew that when I bought it um, but I did want to give it a try because the whole look together is really like cute like I can imagine like this bikini with like my Celine cat eye sunglasses and like a cute hat would be like this like, really cute 19 like 50s like pin up vibe that I'm really here for um, so I probably would put these on and create that aesthetic for like a photo shoot but maybe not so much for actually wanting to lay around and swim in because <laughs> instagram's a lie so uh you might see me in a photo shoot on this and then if you've watched <laughs> that video this video you'll know that i didn't actually really like these ones <laughs> you get the idea okay so i love 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 the top on this one um these straps are super weird i just feel like they're in a really stupid place um but we can take those off because no um these bottoms are not for me they're not a, i actually look very nice on camera but um i just don't know if i'd wear them in real life they just feel like they're too much like too much going on too much fabric too much like oh i don't know i just i'm not a massive fan of them uh the top i absolutely love and i think you could just throw it on with a pair of like denim shorts and it would be the cutest little look um i'm gonna try and take these off and see if it's still like as supportive because at the moment it's super supportive and like really really comfortable um and i could like see myself like lounging around maybe not for swimming but like for definitely for lounging around um but i want to take these off and see if it's still the same and swap to some just plain red bottoms um to see if i prefer that aesthetic so yeah I'll be back in a sec. So this is it without 
the straps which I way prefer and with smaller bottoms these are the bottoms from my pretty little thing um bikini that I wore if you watched my backpacking videos that I wore all the time when I was backpacking they're a bit like on the bigger side for me now but yeah this is so much my I prefer this so much more I just feel like it's so much more flattering um like I get the whole like giving bigger girls bikinis that hide their whole stomach but like um if that's something you're insecure about cool but when you're not like it just I find it a lot less flattering um so I do prefer like um having a smaller bottom like obviously not like super skimpy small but like small the um smaller though it doesn't like go up like here basically I just find it a lot more a lot more flattering on me anyway personally um but yeah this is probably how I'd wear this bikini again not the most like you probably couldn't swim in it probably not the most supportive thing but like not bad at all for like the price but yeah this is a, a much more me look um and yeah so that is the two bikinis I picked up my review is I actually really really like them both and I would highly recommend if you're a plus size gal and struggling to find swimwear that Shein is really supportive, really flattering and it feels like quite good quality as well um, so I, I would actually quite highly recommend them um, I have also picked up um, a few uh, plus size swimwears from uh, Peek and Boo from ASOS previously and they make a lot of their swimwear out of like recycled materials and stuff so they're a really great brand if you're looking for like a more sustainable alternative to Shein obviously Shein is not at all sustainable from a sustainability perspective don't recommend Shein at all um, but Peek and Boo and ASOS is quite good as an alternative if you're looking for a more sustainable swimmer alternative as that's something that's actually as a plus size girl pretty limited like actually extremely limited um but with swimwear you just need something that you feel amazing in and i feel really great in both of these uh great enough that i'm willing to put it on the internet and i think that always <laughs> tells you everything you need to know um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys like i said at the beginning please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the video you want to see more of me i upload every monday at six and i am filming kind of bulk at the moment so i'm actually managing to get more out as well and fingers crossed uh, me and emily are moving into uh, emily's the girl i was traveling with if you watch my traveling videos moving into a new flat very very soon so there's going to be a lot of like homey content so i hope that's something that you are interested in it will obviously be mixed in with like my fashion and mlm content as well but um I'm going to start doing some homeware, homeware stuff because I have a tiny little bedroom I need to decorate and make my own um, and I always think tiny bedroom makeovers are super fun and super interesting and I hope you guys agree with me. So if you enjoyed the video guys, um, I will see you in my next one and bye!